Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. All right, this might be my favorite question here. Number seven here. Looking back, what advice would you give your younger self about either managing money and or building wealth? So this is a question that Chris is going to answer to Chris. Now, a couple of things that come up for me. Um, I can go back and remember my frustration that I felt failed by our educational system failed by my family and also failed by the church world that I grew up in to teach financial literacy. I remember when I started in business, like the first year I spent more than I made. And I remember like I made over a hundred grand. It's just like a real estate agent. I made a lot of money for being 25, 26 years old. And so if I were to go back, you know, one of the things I would have told my younger self is to prioritize that particular topic because when i look at people and they send out books let's just say all of our friends most of the books that come out are like the next marketing idea book right like everyone's reading particular authors around that particularly right now you know lots of business books you know things on technology but occasionally a book will go around on finance right like the psychology of money i think was one great book it's a great 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 um, so if I were to go back to my younger self, I would have prioritized the education of that. So I prioritized the growing of the business and prioritized the cash building, but I didn't prioritize the wealth building study. Um, and that's something I would have told myself to go back and to understand the importance of that at an earlier age and to catch up from the lack of training um, that I experienced just particularly within the family church structure and educational structure I grew up in. It's the second time you said that. Prioritize wealth building. Guys listening and watching, take notes. Great answer, Chris. 